Good evening and welcome back everyone. Malaga, our team have been having a great time recently. Now over Christmas, we had a win over Real Madrid. That was one of the highlights to take us even clearer in the league. In the last match, we got through the third round of the Copa del Rey Cup. And today we are back at home in the league. Few changes, Diaby's still out injured, probably for another, well, this match and maybe one more. Messi's unfortunately on a downward red. So we're going with Xerxes on the right-hand side, which he has played a couple of times and did well. We've also brought in Balbuena, who we are looking to potentially loan or sell, but he is on an up, so I'm going to put him in. Zirkov has come in, even though he's on a downward orange, because Backers needs a rest and he's on a downward red. But other than that, a full-strength lineup going in today. Back at home for a nighttime fixture. It always looks good. Our stadium, La Rosaleda. Um, happy to be back playing the game as well. I've had a run about a week off from playing, maybe even a bit longer. I've mentioned it before, but I normally play in batches. Been busy with work and lots of other sort of life stuff going on. Um, spending time with my son and, and stuff like that. So good to get back into the game. As you can see, Balbuena getting a good reception there. Yeah, good time over Christmas in the game. Some great wins, but most notably against Real Madrid. We're now, can't actually remember how many points we are clear of Real Madrid. I think it might be five. Um, won the Copa del Rey third round in the last match. So we're through to that one. To the next stages. Like I say, Zerg, he's starting on that right-hand side, which he has played a couple of times. And he's offside there, is he? Yeah, <laughs> good start. <laughs> And I've mentioned before that traditionally I've always started him up top. And if he's not starting up top, he's not playing pretty much. I don't know why. So I've put him on that right-hand side as a second striker. And he's done well over there. And like I say, Messi, with Messi and Giorgi being out, I could have played maybe Kang Lee. He's played over there before, but I wanted to give Zirks a go. He's on a bit of an up. Not had the best of starts, so is he? And I kind of wanted to play Modric today as well, one of our new signings. But um, looking at the midfield, I, I couldn't. Uh, oh, it's a poor pass from Castro. So you can see he would have been in there. But yeah, there wasn't anyone I could drop. Really, um, Bellingham's on and up. Vieira's on a proper up. Pedri's our star player, and I definitely want to play him. Nice play there. Zirkzee so gets it back. Not Zirkzee, Zirkov even. That's a foul. How is that not a foul? Got fouled twice there. Castro. Great finish there. A lovely turn and finish from Castro. Definitely get fouled twice there. Vieira gets up. Puts enough pressure on. And it's Bellingham with the pass in there. Lovely turn and finish. It's first chance of the game. Sorry, I was just moving my mic a little bit there. Look at that lovely touch. Smashed into the net just underneath the keeper's hand there. Good start though. Fairly early goal. It's what we need. Obviously, I'm just settling back into the game as well. Nice header from Cavario. Can't quite get there, but he does get the tackle in. Now let's see what Zirksy can do. Nice pass out of Castro. Could get it back for Martinelli. Oh, defender tracked it well. Good defending. It was a decent pass. But was spotted. Good tackle from Zirkov. Zirkov, he couldn't quite get the pass through. Oh, nice play there. Very nice play. Good save from Schubert. Really nice play, and I made a mistake with one of the defenders. That was all on me. I'm past the ball pretty much. Well defended by Guardiola. Well, 
Should have just cleared it there, really. Instead of trying to be clever. Nicely played. Oh, it's a horrendous tackle there. Quickly played it to Bellingham. Now Castro. Vieira. Walks into trouble there. But enough pressure on to win the throw. Well, it's been end to end, and it certainly hasn't just been ourselves. They've had a bit of pressure on. Castro. Trippier. Ah, poor finish from him. Well, I expect him to hit the target there. He's got a very good right foot. Pogorino winning it well. Xerxes does well. And then loses it. Ugh, he's had a strange game. <laughs> so far. Here's Martinelli. Now Castro. Now Xerxes. Oh, what a finish. Absolutely smashes it under the keeper. I think the keeper maybe should have done better. Castro will get the assist. Such strength here. Yeah, keeper's got to do better at the near post. I mean, the power on that was immense, but... Very similar to the first goal, he just got above the ball, really. Oh, he's below the ball, actually. Strange. So, Xerxes had a bit of a tough half, but uh, he's got his goal. Like I say, he can play on that right-hand side well. Good tackle from Balbuena. He's actually had a uh, good game so far. Here's Castro. Nicely played as Xerxes, and he's in here again. <laughs> and Martinelli's in there. An assist from Xerxes. Did the right thing. Didn't go for the shot from that angle. By the way, the keeper's been playing. That probably would have went in. Really nice play from Castro there. Just calm as you like from Xerxes. Really nice play. Simple little ball. Perfectly played though. That feels a bit better. 3-0. Very comfortable now. Again, nicely one header, but it doesn't fall at one of our players. How that fell to their play, I'm not quite sure. I passed all my defenders. Xerxes. I wonder how many teams have had two players starting with Z in their first 11. I guess not many. Has he got Zirkov and Xerxes? Here is Zirkov. Nice ball. Ooh. Xerxes going for the, uh, the acrobatic finish. Pedri loses out there. It's not like him. A tackle though, and he's Pedri again. Xerxes, Castro. Ah, oh, Pedri just couldn't get there, just didn't fall kindly. That'll be half time, 3 0. Couldn't we ask for much more? I doubt we'll be making any more signings. We're still in the January transfer window, but. Obviously, we got that loan of Modric with an option to buy. So, we want to save our money to make that permanent. We're only about 3 million short from doing so, which we'll make over the next uh, well, few months or whatever. And we'll make that permanent as soon as, as, soon as we can. Here's Zirkov. Nice play from him. Not such a good pass, though. But there may be some outgoings. I'm hoping there will be. Um... 
potentially a couple of loans would be good. Is Vieira, now Pedri, Martinelli, Pedri again. Ah, oh, it's blocked. Of course it is. <laughs> the one thing you can rely on in this game is shots getting blocked extremely frequently. Vieira now, Zirkov, Martinelli, Pedri. Oh, wide. Thought that was going in the back of the net. Bellingham, now Pedri again. It's been on the ball a fair, but fair moment. Just hasn't quite uh, worked out from Pedri so far. Now Vieira. Pedri. Again, doesn't quite work out. Nicely played there. Ah, offside. We'll make some changes now. And it is actually the midfield three that are going to be changed. Kang and Lee for Fabio Vieira. Pedri's going to go off for Modric. And Mariba is going to come off for Bellingham. I meant to say Mariba coming on for Bellingham, rather. But yeah, Modric playing in that slightly more advanced role. If you do select him as a tank midfielder, randomly his overall goes up to 79 rather than 78. So I see him more of as an actual out and out centre centre midfielder. But hang on, here's Castro. Good save. But yeah, his rating seems to go up when you're playing that attacking midfielder role. So we'll play him there. So Kang and Lee. No, we want. Uh, I think we'll get Trippier to take this. Why is Trippier not taking that anyway? That's strange. Mariba blocked. Well played there. Modric. Now Kang and Lee. Oh, poor ball. Had options there. Picked the wrong one. Well defended. Again, the ball doesn't find kind, fall kindly to us, though. Every time we've won a header, it's uh, fallen to the opposition. Apart from that time, as I say that. Here's Modric. Modric. Oh, it deflects into the keeper's arms. Nice play from Modric, though. Can't wait to make him permanent. Again, blocked there. Just trying to find a lofter ball over to Castro. Certainly hasn't been a perfect game. It's been sort of scrappy in bits. Some of the passes aren't, maybe not quite as flowing as we normally are. Nice play from Trippier there. Into Castro, plenty of space here. Now Modric, good save. He's made a difference since coming on, hasn't he? Play for Mariba out wide. Now Martinelli. Castro. Again, it's blocked, for God's sake. Um, yeah, well, I'll tell you what, we'll let Kang and Lee take this one. Oh, it's a great ball, and what a save that is. Is that Modric again? He's been involved a lot. Here he is again. <laughs> Lee Kang in. Oh, it's a poor, poor, poor touch from him. Somehow won it back. Now Zerxi. Just running out of space. Modric. Oh, just wide. I thought that was in. Great all-round play. How we haven't got that fourth goal, I'm not sure. 
And that was for a tackle early on that I can't remember. Martinelli with acres of space here. Nice ball from Castro. And it's four. Finally get that fourth goal. Again, it's one for Modric. Being involved. Castro, simple ball down here. Perfectly played though. And it's just a matter of keeping your composure. Still having enough energy to to run there beating the defender and a really nice finish as you would expect from Martinelli it's a bit more like it oh, good tackle here's Castro Oh, Martinelli just stopped his run. It was a decent ball. Here's Luka. And Mariba. Kangan Lee. Mariba again. Oh, just wide. I oh, had a few close calls. Could have been five, six, seven goals, really. They had one chance in the first half, but other than that, they've sort of petered out a little bit in the second. Haven't really had any chances. Bob Wainet winning it back. He's played well. Not a good pull, though, just as I say that. That should be it. 4-0. Pretty comfortable in the end. No surprise that it was the front three that got the highest ratings. Bellingham got a 7 as well for that assist. I do think Pedri and Vieira were a little bit absent, or just not quite on it. And I thought Modric was excellent when he came on, made such a difference. And 4-0 was probably about a fair reflection of the game. And we're now seven points clear of Real Madrid and Liga, and they've got a massive gap between themselves and Barcelona in third place. Next match is away to Mallorca, and obviously the transfer window being open. I'll keep you updated if anything happens between now and that game. As always, really appreciate you guys' support. If you can hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all next time. Cheers.